I mean, pe people don't put on this play. Um, it's very rare that you actually get to see a production of Titus Andronicus because it's so bloody. It's probably Shakespeare's bloodiest play. And so for people to come and actually enjoy it and see the, see the worth in it is, I think, a really big thing. And it speaks a lot to the theater training we're getting here at uh, U of I. Probably one of the best uh, um, full experiences I've had. Uh, the director, Matt Brumlow, is an actor in Chicago. And so he, I think he really understands uh, setting up like kind of a playground where we can just play and figure out who we, who we are and what choices feel right. And there was, there was one, one uh, rehearsal where we, uh, we were up in the lobby because the stage was being worked on there, building the set, and we just kind of inhabited the whole, the whole, the whole story, like the story never stopped. And that was really, really good. And I learned a lot then, and I think the whole cast did, and the show kind of transformed after that. My personal goal is to go to Chicago and start a theater company and um, spread the good word, I guess, love, yeah. Tell stories and help people, yeah. Well, part of this being an academic institution in, in building these productions is giving our, our actors opportunities to work. And we don't often have the opportunity to dig into a Shakespeare text like this. So a lot of my job with the production, alongside the director, Brumlow, has been working with our actors on their understanding of Shakespeare, tearing the text apart, uh, really finding out what the story is and how we can best transfer that onto the stage itself. So like for a lot of people going into theater, the first thing that you want to do is, oh, I want to, I want to be an actor, I want, to, I want to be on the stage in front of people sharing stories. Because that's most of what people know growing up, um, doing theater in their high schools or in their communities. And coming here, that's what I came in with too, is like, oh, I know, I want to be in theater, and this is how I know how to be in it. But having the chance to work here alongside professional directors or people who've been directing for decades, that work kind of clicked in me. That's, that's a way that my mind likes to work, is in that taking the ideas on the page and in the text and transferring it through your actors into the space. That kind of way of telling a story is like the organizer storyteller so that by the end of the process, I'm actually rendered unimportant. I don't, I, I am no longer of need for the actors to keep telling the story. It's really satisfying to find that the actors now have that like in their hands. Uh, the most fascinating thing about this, the blood, one of Shakespeare's bloodiest is, uh, well, we've got 14 people in the cast, uh, 11 of them die, one of them twice. And I think that's the most interesting thing and holds true to the bloodiest play. <laughs> As stage manager, uh, like part of my role is scheduling and making sure everybody's organized and where they need to be. Uh, so our, our, the process for this has been a little strange as uh, the, the rehearsal period has, has bridged a semester break. Uh, so we had to deal with uh, being off for, you know, three, four weeks or whatever, and then coming back and restarting again and dealing with uh, anything that should come of being off for that much time. A really nice thing about the program here is like even if you have an emphasis, you're still able to kind of cater your, your track to what you would like it to be. So I get to dabble in a lot of different things. And today, or not today, this year, I'm also um, getting to be a part of the playwriting class too. So it, it's, it's great to be at a school that lets you look at the art making as a whole rather than you have to like specifically <laughs> stay in one track. So that's mainly what, I, what I've been up to since I've gotten here. Um, I think it's really difficult to inhabit that amount of fury, like genuinely, to, to really be in a place where you uh, want to kill and that you want to genuinely seek revenge. You know, we all feel like we want to get revenge, but to the extent that Titus wants it, you know, that's a, that's a whole other level. I'm, Really excited to see and hear people's opinions as they see it. You know, it's it's a it's quite a journey to go on, and it's it's definitely a little bit longer. It's a two-hour show, uh, and I've been really pleased to hear how people have been responding to it. People seem to like it a lot. I'm about what happens when uh, when old systems of faith and honor fail you, and that uh, revenge is the only answer. Uh, I think I think violence and Revenge is terrible. I think I think we forgiveness is the answer. So we wrote this crazy revenge tragedy where it's very violent, 
A lot of atrocious things happen in it. A lot of the revenge tragedies at the time were very sensational, grotesque. Um, but then Shakespeare did something different, which he did with all of his plays. Uh, rather than it just being a sensational piece, he, he looked at what was going on here and here. Uh, psychology before psychology existed. Why do people do what they do? And what is the cost of willfully pursuing vengeance? That's sort of what I feel like this play is about. So I think Titus is an exciting play because you get to see the young playwright and who he's going to become. And uh, all of these characters are extraordinary human beings uh, in a really tough situation and they behave badly. And Shakespeare sort of shows us the cost of that. What happens when we lean into that fear as opposed to see what we have in common. So my main goal, I've been a professional actor in Chicago for over 20 years and I've done a lot of Shakespeare. So I love working on Shakespeare with uh, particularly younger artists who are coming to it, you know, maybe uh, fresh. Uh, because I feel like if you can do Shakespeare well, you can do anything well as an actor. Uh, the language is incredibly powerful, uh, it's active, it's juicy, uh, and finally you have the words to express what you're feeling. So one of the examples from Titus I would give is rather than saying, I cried until I couldn't cry anymore, a character might say, I am the weeping Welkin. She is the earth. So. We don't talk like that, but, but as soon as you have that language, it, it really activates something deep, even spiritual, I think, in the actors. So I think half the battle in rehearsals is we have to figure out literally what are we saying, uh, who are we saying it to, what do we want, how are we going to get it, and uh, because if we don't understand what we're saying, then the audience sure won't. So try to make go for clarity. And then just keep digging and digging and digging because there's so many layers with Shakespeare, metaphor upon metaphor. And I've done a lot more acting than directing. Directing is uh, really rewarding, but it's also very difficult because you, uh, it sort of feels like having a child in a way. You have to, you have to let, let it go, you know. In order for the play to really take off and grow, the company has to take it and they need me to get out of their hair and leave them alone. <laughs> we had a lot of fun making it, a lot of fun figuring it out, and that's why I do this. It's, it's, uh, it's community. It's uh, you know, uh, connecting with, with people through storytelling. So in the process of making it, doing it, telling it, it was a whole lot of fun. They call me Old Man Brumlow here. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a non-traditional graduate student, so it's just been really inspirational for me. Not, not just the uh, developing director in me, but the actor in me. I, I get really energized when I am around other actors, other storytellers, and particularly new ones uh, or younger ones. And they have taught me a great deal. They, all of them pretty much just blow my mind on a daily basis with the things they create and their capacity for empathy through storytelling. I have a tremendous amount of respect for uh, the department here and the students. I, I really am grateful for the experience.